Nemefile says the January the 31st deadline for ending the use of the old Nara notes will not be extended. The governor, who made this known on the sidelines of a monetary policy committee meeting, says adequate volume of the new currencies have been put in the system. The monetary policy committee also pushed up key lending rates by 1% to 17.5%. The cash reserve requirement and liquidity ratio were, however, left unchanged at 32.5% and 30% respectively. Lara Falayo reports. It's the first monetary policy committee meeting of the year. The monetary policy rate has once again been pushed up by 1% to 17.5%. It was increased at the last meeting in November last year by 1% to 16.5%, owing to what the committee described as necessary considering prevailing economic conditions. This time, the tightening stance is preferable because loose nearly undermined the gains of the last four rate hikes, and though inflation moderated year on year in December last year, the economy remained confronted with risk of hyperinflation with adverse consequences on general living standards. MPC voted to one, raise NPR to 17.5%, two, retain the asymmetric corridor at plus 100 and minus 700 business points around the corridor, and three, retain the CRR at 2.5%, and four, retain the liquidity ratio at 30%. The CBN governor says the January 31st deadline for stopping the use of the old currencies will not be extended. He assures that an adequate volume of the new currencies have been given to the banks for onward disbursement to the public, which super agents in unbanked communities for currency swap. The governor says between 1.3 to 1.5 trillion in cash has now been deposited in the banks and it hopes this would have increased to 2 trillion by the January 31st deadline. Unfortunately, I don't have good news for those who feel that we should shift the deadline. My apologies. The reason is because just like the president had said on more than two occasions, and even to people privately, that for us 90 days, in fact, we feel it's 100 days is enough for anybody who has, deposit, who has money or the old currency to deposit it, the money in the banks. Against the backdrop of allegations that 89 trillion in collected stamp duties have been diverted, the governor says the information is false. The governor, however, says the bank has contracted four major audit firms to do a forensic audit of the banks on their stamp duty collection, and any one of them caught guilty of any infraction would be made to pay. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.